Hi, and welcome to Copa Fina Wine Training with me, Lauren. Today's topic, the Uco Valley. The Uco Valley is a key wine growing region of Mendoza. It's located 50 miles south or about an hour's drive south of the city. The valley begins in the Tupungato region in the north and extends down to San Carlos in the south. It's roughly 45 miles long and 15 miles wide, following along the Tunuyan River as it flows down from the Andes. Those Andes mountains dominate the horizon to the west of the valley and offer a permanently snow-capped view. To the south, it's bounded by desert, although cold winds can come up from as far away as Patagonia. The east of the valley runs off into a series of gorges and dry riverbeds. The Uco Valley is Mendoza's highest elevation subregion, ranging from 2,500 feet all the way up to about 4,000 feet. Although the topography of the region is quite flat with these rolling hills as the Andes level off into the desert. The area's elevated vineyard sites benefit from those high daytime temperatures combined with cooler nights. So the di diurnal shift here is on average around 25 degrees in the summer. This allows for grapes to produce balanced sugars and acidity while achieving phenolic ripeness. The climate here is considered dry and continental, so the Tunuyan River is super important as a resource for vineyard irrigation. But the Uco Valley is also a cooler subregion and can be up to 15 degrees cooler during the day than the city of Mendoza. Soils throughout the Uco Valley are alluvial and fairly uniform. It has a clay and rock base with a stony and sandy surface. But what really makes the Uco Valley unique is the presence of limestone, increasing minerality in the wines. These free draining soils are excellent for quality viticulture as they stress the vines and lead to lower yields. So in turn, wines from the Uco Valley tend to be more concentrated. This wine region is growing rapidly and getting a lot of attention. It has increased in cultivated area by 65% since 2006. So now it has about 75,000 acres of vines planted, which is double that of historical Lujan de Cuyo. The most planted grape by far here is Malbec with about 30,000 acres, so about a third of the plantings. But Syrah, Cap Franc, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay are also developing fast. The three main subregions and also the largest within the Uco Valley from north to south are Tupungato, Tunuyen, and San Carlos. Other geographical indication zones are Vista Flores, La Consulta, Paraje Altamira, and a few others I've listed here. Copafina wineries that are planting in the Uco Valley are Siete Fincas, Mitaruño, and Boyes. Here are some other brands you might have seen around. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out. Lauren at copafina.com. Cheers!